Here's a GRE quantitative comparison question. Let's take a look. We're told that x is greater than 0 and that x to the power of 4 is equal to 625. So we want to know what's greater. Quantity A, the greatest prime factor of 36x, or quantity B, x itself. Well, we already know that x is greater than 0, so that eliminates about half of the numbers. That's nice for us, <laughs> right? But let's focus on this part, that x to the power of 4 is equal to 625. Well, unfortunately, our GRE calculator does not have a fourth root button. So you can't just type uh, what's the fourth root of 625 into the GRE calculator. But what you can do if you know your exponents, which you should for this test, is say that the square root of x to the power of 4, right, is going to be x squared. The square root of x to the power of 4 is x squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, I can say that x squared, the square root of x to the 4, is equal to the square root of 625, which is, use your calculator, 25. And furthermore, if we know that x squared is equal to 25, well, that means that x must equal 5. Now, obviously, there's the whole plus minus thing going on here, but that is obviated by this fact that x needs to be greater than 0. So we can just take the principal square root all the way down. Okay, so we're told that the, uh, we or rather, we want to compare. What's the greatest prime factor of 36x to x? Well, 36x is going to be 36 times 5. I'll just write that here. 36 times 5. What are the prime factors of this number? Well, if I break it down further, this is 6 times 6 times 5. 36 is 6 times 6. And if I break that, that down further, it's 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. Well, it looks to me like 5 is the largest prime factor of 36x. And x is 5, so we can just say that the two quantities are equal. For more GRE tips and tricks, or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.